I'm Teresa Persner. I'm a neurosurgeon scientist in the Division of Neurosurgery, the Department of Surgery here at Queen's University. Yeah, so, so the project was one that I wasn't really expecting to take on. It came from a really clear unmet clinical need that I faced as a, you know, a new staff here at Queen's. Um, it has to do with patients in southeastern Ontario recently diagnosed with brain tumors. Um, what we've been able to to figure out is that patients in southeastern Ontario are getting very a very high level of quality of care um, in terms of the procedures they're getting, whether it's surgery or radiation uh, or, or systemic therapy. Um, but they were facing really serious barriers when it came to accessing that high quality care. And so patients were getting lost between diagnosis and referral to neurosurgery, between the referrals and seeing us in person, between seeing us in person getting their surgery, and between surgery and going on to getting their radiation and uh, chemotherapy. And so um, as a result, there were, it's not only a, a struggle on the part of the patient, but also you know the, the overall quality of care they get because of those delays is, is, is deteriorated. So they were getting, safe and effective therapies, but they were having a hard time accessing them. And that and that, that challenge was probably um, exaggerated in, in more vulnerable populations who couldn't advocate for themselves as loudly as others. So um, the, the, the project is really based on that observation. It's, it's a three-part project. The first is looking back at the data over the past five years and seeing where exactly patients are falling between the cracks and where we could optimize the transition from one stage of care to the next. Um, the second stage is doing qualitative interviews with the patients themselves. So the numbers will help give us a sense of where people are being lost. The qualitative interviews are better at giving us a sense of where the frustrations lie from a firsthand perspective. And then um, following that, we're, we're getting together as a really great and, and very experienced multidisciplinary team. Um, it, it's composed of, of uh, members of every stage of care. So radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, radiologists, pathologists, um, you know, perioperative care, surgeons, and, and, and all the allied health that are involved in, in patient care. And together we're trying to find out uh, new protocols, new standard operating procedures that would allow patients to overcome those barriers um, with, with, you know, a far, in a far more fluid fashion. Um, and then finally, the, the last step of, of the grant is focused on implementing those changes and then um, recording their effect on overall flow of care. Um, so so that, that, that's the project and it really did it really did come from um, the direct observation on, on my part and the other surgeon's part of the frustrations that our patients had been experiencing. Yeah, I, I think the nice thing about this project is that the impact is so clear and obvious and direct. <laughs> so my background is really much more in fundamental um, basic science, so lab-based work, looking at um, trying to discover new therapies for, for brain cancer and then translating those discoveries into actual drugs that patients um, that patients get to, to benefit from. So um, in basic science, it, it takes a little bit more of a stretch in imagination to understand how exactly and how directly it's going to affect patients. But the nice thing about this project is that it's really direct. So it, it comes from the direct observation of, of this unmet need, um, and it involves the patient themselves in finding the solution. And then in implementing the solution, it should um, immediately impact the flow of care for, for every patient going forward. Um, diagnosed with a brain tumor in southeastern Ontario. So that's one of the more gratifying parts of this project is that there's really no ambiguity as to how um, patients will directly benefit from, from it. I, I would just love to add that the this grant is, is critical for, for this project. Um, it's actually really hard to find funding <laughs> for projects like this because it doesn't fit under the umbrella of a lot of specific agencies. Um, and, and so it, it, it's and because it crosses so many disciplines from surgery to pathology to radiation oncology to medical oncology, it also doesn't fit under the umbrella of responsibilities for any one clinical department. And for that reason, it's really hard to get to get funding um, because it just covers so many different areas, not one specific area. Um, and so the CMO Innovation Grant is going to be absolutely critical to, to, to getting it going and to, and to set things in motion. And I think this, this grant will give us a, enough of a, a runway that we'll get data back that will then allow us to apply for you know much bigger grants to make sure the impact we make in Southeastern Ontario can also be extended to other regions that have similar struggles as us, for example, you know, Northeastern Ontario. So um, I'm just very appreciative for, for this grant and, and very um, excited for, for how we can take the funds that we get here and, and, and um, expand them so that the impact of what we do is far more uh, far reaching than, than just Southeastern Ontario. Thank you.